Hello everyone, we're back here with episode 3 and today we're going to be talking about the Magma Crucible. The Magma Crucible is a thermal expansion machine that deals with making liquids, you want to say? Like in some cases, no, it's not what I wanted to do. In some cases, you need to make destabilized redstone. And to make the stabilized redstone, you could put <clears throat> redstone in the magma crucible. I'm going to show you the interface of the crucible. Obviously, this is the power. This holds up to 1 million RF. Redstone flux. This is for the flux capacitor. And I'm using creative energy. Because I'm in creative mode. This one you can pop a capacitor in here. It'll power it up. If you don't have any um, energy built yet. As far as uh, energy cell. This is where your item goes. And you can, cre you can make different kinds of liquids. To make the basic lava. If you need lava and you you've gone to the nether and you've got a bunch of nether rack laying around because obviously most of the time when you go to the nether to go mine for nether quartz you end up or when you go look for the nether fortress you end up with a lot of nether rack laying around well if you need lava and you don't have a pump yet to pump it from the nether you can just stick some nether rack in here this is the fastest to get that you could put cobblestone that actually you can put cobblestone in there and it'll make lava. But usually the magma crucible is paired up with the fluid transposer. And I, I will not be talking about that because I've made a video. Uh, episode 2 is the tutorial for the fluid transposer. So if you guys want to uh, go back and look at that. That'll be awesome. But this one is about the magma crucible. You can do that. Or. We'll give you a little ideas here. If you throw a little. Uh, if you throw an ender pearl in there you get the. Resonant Ender. Now just bust this one up. Put another one down. If you need some water, you're nowhere near water, and you're in a snow biome, you throw some snowballs in there, and you get some water. Let's bust this one down. See what else we can get out of this. Yeah, Resonant Ender, water, snowballs. So yeah, and again, you can power the magma crucible with an energy cell powers up or a survivalist generator powers that right up and the good old sterling engine you give that some rest on signal it should be powering up I don't know what is going on here is that off it is off hmm there is no power. Is that because that's output? Is that because that's output? Let's see that. <laughs> Nail it. No. Well, anyways. This was there from my uh, fluid transposer thing. Anyways. You can power it like that with any of these. And one thing I forgot to mention in the fluid transposer video is the augments. Is that what that's called? I think that's what it's called. We'll go back in here. The augmentations. It comes with these basic ones. I don't know what these basic ones do yet. I haven't looked those up, but I did look up the augments that are here, which are these guys. And I said first it will give you the the recipe for the magma crucible. The magma crucible takes two invar uh, two invar gears, which are made with invar ingots and one iron ingot in the middle. A redstone reception coil, which is two redstone and a gold ingot. A machine frame, which is glass. A tin gear, which a tin gear is four tin ingots and a t uh, iron ingot. Uh, another brick, 
you guys know how to make another brick it's brick we cook another rack turns to brick and a leadstone energy cell which is a block of redstone glass and lead ingots that's the recipe for the magma crucible and now we're now we come to the augments augments this is and the augments work this is the recipe for that obviously it's bronze ingots a uh, redstone reception coil which is two redstone and a gold ingot and redstone and they go by tiers this is the tier two we'll go back here we shift on it it's level one is times two speed plus a 50 percent more energy use out of your power so we can go we take this guy this guy is pyrothium dust two gold ingots a, two bronze ingots and a redstone reception coil and the last one is uh level uh, level three eight times the speed plus 150 energy use extra out of your power and we take that and that's made with uh two ender pearls four gold ingots and one reception coil let's go back okay so let's say we want to make let's go with the lava now you see that it's going really really slow you know it's taking its little time well these are what these augments do but the thing is that I can make the third one and put it in because it doesn't work see it's still at 400 RF that's the basic power usage and whatever but you can't jump tiers on these augments. You have to make each augment from level one to level three and put them all together because I can't go just two and it'll change the power. No, you would have to, you would have to craft the first one, drop it in and it changes the power. It goes to 1200 RF. Then you pop the second one, 3200 RF. Now it's going a lot faster. Even with the first one, it's still going a little faster than nothing so we take that out again you see how slow it's going I pop the first one it starts to move faster pop the second one a lot faster then we pop the third one in now we're popping a power usage of 8000 RF maximum power of 8000 RF and energy storage that's what's in there now so now it's pumping it out like I said, I'm not going to get into details. Yeah, I'm not going to, I got to make a video on these guys yet, but I know what these uh, secondary reception coils, the overclock modular gearbox, and the space time flux unifier. So, in other words, these are, uh, what are they called? These are processing speed augments. So, it'll, whatever you're processing in any machine, even in the, even in this guy, just to put it here, we have it set where, we're gonna put this like I said these machines are always paired together so we bring this down and we output this and let's say you know what let's get a can or something a bucket so we <clears throat> that one we're gonna put this as a blue this blue one we're gonna put this bucket here we're gonna put this blue for input and it should bring all the lava from this guy over here and it'll give you the lava bucket so these guys are usually paired up the magma crucible and the fluid transposer so you can try uh, create your liquid that you need and the fluid transposer will either fill that fill whatever container you have for that liquid and this one also creates this one has its augments too so if you want to use uh, processing speed augments, you can use that in these, and you have that. So, this is this was the episode on the Magma Crucible. Now, again, if you guys have any other machines that you guys need tutorial on, please leave a comment down in the section below. <clears throat> Until the next time, we will see you then. Peace.